So before we get started, I want to ask you for just 10 minutes of your time because this is so important. And I'm asking you to share this video. And I'm really, really hoping that some of the other pro-gun YouTubers will actually jump on this message and help me get it out there. Because too many guns have been stolen from out of vehicles, man. In this video, we're going to start off with a newsreel. We're going to sit down to the table. We're going to talk about why you shouldn't leave your gun in your car. The second part of the video, if you have to leave your gun in your car for work because you can't carry that gun on your person, I'm going to show you my technique of how I actually secure my gun inside of my vehicle so that it cannot be easily stolen. And it really don't cost that much. But we have to secure our weapons. Let's get started. All of us gun owners can play our part in keeping guns out of the wrong hands is to lock our car and take our guns with us. Just last week, just in Nashville, almost 20 guns were stolen out of vehicles. That makes it 912 so far this year. Guys, we're just about to hit September. Several months left to go. 70% of all guns stolen in Nashville are taken from vehicles. People, a lot of the times, leaving their keys in or around their car or their car completely unlocked. So just make sure that you're doing what you need to do to keep guns out of the wrong hands. I-24... What's going on with y'all, man? So let's go ahead and get part one of this video out of the way. Just please, y'all, stop leaving guns inside of your car. The only time when your gun should be left inside of your car is if you cannot carry that gun on your person at work. And if that gun is going to be inside of the car, it needs to be locked down inside of a safe. I'm going to show you in part two of this video. Too many guns have been stolen. Over 900 guns, man. That's enough guns to arm a small militia, man. Like 900 fucking guns. And as you heard from the news report, people don't even lock their doors. They're leaving their keys in the car. Listen. We got to get down to the mentality. You have to have a mentality of where you take pride in your possessions and that you want to secure them from people stealing them. Just because you live in a nice neighborhood or a neighborhood that's not prone to crime do not mean that motherfuckers won't ride through your neighborhood and so happen to pick your vehicle to try to see if they can open up the door. Okay? Because I think the mentality of some people is... Let me put it to you like this. I was born and raised in the inner city of Baltimore, Maryland. South Baltimore Projects. Westport Projects. If anybody from Baltimore, y'all already know what time it is, man. I left Baltimore when I was 17 and went into the Army. Thank God for the Army. But growing up in the inner city, I learned real quick, fast, and in a hurry that if you don't secure your personal possessions, motherfuckers will steal them. Oh yeah, they will steal them. I learned that at an early age. So with me, I'm not leaving my shit nowhere unsecured where somebody can just walk by and just snatch it up right quick. That shit ain't gonna happen. When I show you in part two of this video, you see exactly how my gun is locked down when it's inside of my vehicle and I'm at work. So you just gotta just have a mentality of where you want to take pride in your stuff because you work hard for your stuff. You shouldn't just leave a gun in your car overnight. That is a no-go. It serves you no purpose there. When you go to work in the morning, that gun needs to be on your person. You lock it up for work. When you get off of work, that gun goes back inside of the house with you. And you need to repeat that every day. And if you have to get a gun that's specific for that one task... That's the whole reason why I went with this Gen 5 Glock 26. Because this gun right here, with this 12 round magazine, this is a good throw it in your pocket. Just enough to get you to your car gun. That's exactly why I went with this. When I want to inside the waistband on the weekend, I put me a 15 round magazine in there. And then I'm good to go. You know what I'm saying? So I got versatility. On the weekend, 15 round magazine. Monday through Friday, throw it in the pocket. Or just put it on my waistline. I go with the 12-round magazine. So get a gun that's appropriate for the task. Maybe that Glock 19 ain't really a Monday through Friday gun. Because that is a nice little chunk of gun that you're carrying around. Just to get you to your car. Get you as you're driving around. Lock it up in the safe. Get you back to your house. Maybe that gun is a little bit too big for that. Get you something a little bit more smaller. A little get the fuck up off me gun as I like to call it. Just something to get somebody to fuck up off you. So that's the first thing. So let's go to part two. Part two is I'm, I'm going to show you how you can lock your gun down if you have to leave it inside of your car for work. Because this is important. Because just the other day when I was at work, Monday matter of fact, 
they said somebody's car got broken into and I just shook my head and just really just shook my head and just was that shit just made me mad because this is something I'm really passionate about. You have to protect and take care of your investments, man. You can't just leave shit around for people to steal it. But let's go to part two of this video where I show you how you can lock down your gun if you do have to leave it in your car. Then we'll come back to the table. Okay, so this is the portion of the video where we go inside of the car and I kind of show you how you can kind of properly secure your firearm inside of your vehicle if you have to leave it in there. Like if you can't take your gun on your person while you go to work, you have to leave it locked inside of a vehicle, this is how it needs to be locked up. This is the Hornady safe right here. That's the Hornady safe right there. How I have this is I have it tethered. Let me see if I can show you. I have it tethered around here. So when you get your safe, it has the cable and it has this loop. So you loop this around and that's tethered right there. The inside of the safe, it has a little slot for you to put that right there. So once you get that in there, you close that down. You got your key right here. Now, I know some people are going to say this is a barrel lock. That's not the most secure lock. I understand that. But damn it, it's better than leaving this out of your glove box or just leaving it somewhere so where somebody could just pick it up and snatch it. Once you put that right there, you got you a nice, solid anchor right there. Somebody try to get up in here to try to pull it. You know what I'm saying? It's tethered on there. I'm trying to pull it so it's good and locked. That's how it need to be. If you have to leave your weapon inside of your vehicle, that's exactly how it need to be. How I do it is, I do it from my front seat. I'm in the back seat right now. Once I put it in there, I push it up in there. And I usually have this seat lean back a little bit. I got it up for it for the video. But usually that seat is lean back a little bit. I just got that pushed up under there just like that. So when I get off work, pull that from up under there. Take my key. Now, of course, I'm doing this from the front seat. I take my key, put my key inside of there, turn it, boom. I got my weapon, and I'm good to go. Once I get to the house, guess what happens? That handgun goes back on my person inside of the house, and we repeat that every single day. It goes on my person when I'm going to my car to work in the morning, Lock it up in the safe. When I'm going back inside of the house, that handgun is going with me. It serves no purpose leaving it locked up inside of the car. So I just wanted to kind of show y'all that. Let's go back to the table and finish up. So we just did that right there. And basically we're back to the table. And that's, that's a good way to do it. If you secure your weapon just like that. If you want to go a little bit further... You can actually like bolt that down to the back seat. I didn't think to actually show you that. But if you have like a car similar to mine where you could pull the back seat down. Shit man, just bolt that safe. Bolt that safe to the back seat. And you just fold that seat right back up. And your gun is right there. That'll be even better because you can not only tether it down. Now it's bolted down to that little back part of your seat. I'm actually, matter of fact, I'm going to do that. And I'll do a whole video showing you how I do that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to bolt that motherfucker down there. Uh-huh, sure am. But yeah, man, I just hope that this video can get out there. And I just hope other YouTubers just jump on this and kind of get the word out. And we just need to secure our personal possession. Because we work hard for that shit, man. And we don't need no thieving-ass little motherfucker walking by, snatching it up, man. Y'all be blessed, be safe, and I'm out.